What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. This time, episode 59. Now, I know that we're a little late on this. Um, the month of January was a, a very chill month as far as content goes. Um, but now, the month of YouTube sucks is over. Um, and we'll be back to regular uploads of these. I'm aiming to get these out on Friday mornings. So anyway, if you did check out this episode, make sure you let me know what your favorite part was in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts were about the episode. And if you have fun during this review, go and hit the thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to join the domination. Now today's episode starts with everyone at the school eating lunch and Lana reveals that the night before her sisters had gotten lost and showed up late at night claiming that they had seen a very big Pokemon who had given them some type of a red berry. And Rotom did a search for the red berry and showed a, a couple pictures, couple options. They determined it was the Haban berry um, and Mallow reacts to the discovery and her and Lana have a moment, the first of many in this episode, and determine that it was the forest grandpa. So again, the episode title runs and we see Lana and Mallow, bittersweet memories. A very strange episode, another filler episode, granted, I don't know what's coming next in the story. Actually, yes, I do know what's coming next in the story, uh, but that's for, that's for another time. So Mallow reveals that when they were younger, her and Lana got lost in a forest and Drampa saved them at that same time. So the forest grandpa that saved Lana's sisters, they're determining was also the Drampa that saved them when they were younger. So we get this whole story about when they were younger. Uh, but they've gone back to look for that Drampa since then and have been unsuccessful. And Lana decides, let's go back and look for him and thank, thank him again for their help. And Ash suggests that he'll go with them. So Team Rocket at that point is hiding under the school and decides that this should this is a crazy rare Pokemon based on the way they're talking about it because they haven't seen it in a long time and they're still dreaming of pleasing Giovanni. I was thinking about this. In Unova and in uh, Kalos, didn't they at one point stop like being crazy about getting promoted into in, in within Team Rocket. When can they move on? When can they have some development? Because they've been the same people for 20 something years. Anyway, Ash, Mal, and Lana head out to find this grandpa. All the others had some type of excuse, which I think is good. There's so many characters that we have in the show that it's okay that not everyone goes on this adventure together. But Lana is fired up, says we're gonna find this grandpa, and you can see her eyes of fire. She is determined to find it. In the very first of many flashbacks in this episode, we find that Lana was making a delivery with her mother to what was Mallow's, I think it's Mallow's dad's food restaurant. Um, and Mallow went up to Lana and tried to introduce herself but Lana was very, very timid, even more timid than she is now. And also at this time, the first gen Pokemon Center music was playing and it was making me emotional because that's like a, that's a really important song. And maybe I should, do I play an instrument that maybe I could learn to play songs like that? Anyway, moving on, um, Mallow decided, hey, Let's go out in the forest. She wanted to show her something in the forest, so Mallow grabs Lana and carries her out into the forest against her will. They went out to a forest bed, which I think was maybe the Melee Melee Meadow. It kind of made sense. There were a whole bunch of like bug type Pokemon. There were cutie flies, etc., etc. So that's my determination. They went to the Melee Melee Meadow. Um, they wound up chasing after a cutie fly, as I had said, that led them to a big tree where a bunch of Rabombi were gathered. They had, they had this little flower lay that they had and put it on top of one of the Ribombi's heads. Ribombi then brought them down some pollen puffs, um, which they ate and they loved them. Now, flashing back to the current time, Team Rocket is following Ash, Lana, and Mallow, and they confront a Ribombi and they ask for a pollen puff. And Ribombi makes up some little poisonous pollen puff and throws it in Jesse's mouth, poisoning Jesse. And then back in the dream, back in the flashback, um, Mallow and Lana saw that all the other Pokemon had cleared out and there was this Drampa. And at first it shows the, just the face of the Drampa, just the head of the Drampa, and then it zooms out to it. And you know, Drampa is a very interesting Pokemon. Throughout this episode, 
Um, even in towards the end where the Drampa got more friendly, he kept he kept raising his eyebrows when something weird happened. And there was a moment towards the end where it got really creepy. But he like growled at them and scared them away. They went sprinting as far away and as quick away as they could. Now Rotom comes up and he's like, hey, let's figure out what this Pokemon was and asks for a description. They describe it as a green and white old man. And Rotom goes, I got it. It was in Obama snow. And they're both like, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. And Rotom is very upset that he was wrong. And he goes into, oh, I'm going to figure out what this is. And he was extremely offended. And the fire eyes, that was the second time it made its appearance. Now, they remember running away to somewhere that they didn't recognize. And Mallow got really scared that they weren't going to be able to find their way back and started crying uh, like just repeatedly and she was crying for quite some time even when Lana was off um, retrieving this berry that she found on the ground Mallow was still sitting there crying you could hear her in the background uh, and it turns out that this was the same Haban berry that we determined the younger sisters got at the very beginning of the episode Lana walks up and gives or Lana tries uh, one of these Haban berries for herself at first and has a very negative reaction but apparently they were joking and they were really good so she walks up to Mallow and offers her one and Mallow has the same bitter reaction but Lana was happy that they had made she had stopped crying um, and called her by her name for the very first time that was the very first time that um, Lana had called Mallow by her name and Mallow was really happy about that so they tried a couple more and determined that they weren't as bitter as before, but are becoming sweet. So they called them Bittersweet Berries. There's the episode title. On the way out of the forest, they had found a location where they recognized so they would be able to get out. But Lana dropped one of the berries that she was carrying. So she started chasing after it and jumped off of a cliff trying to catch this berry. Well, Mallow was there, caught her, holding on to the, the cliff, and fell off. And as they were tumbling down, Drampa swooped under and caught them, and apparently, Drampa can fly. Upon hearing this, Rotom determines that he knows exactly what Pokemon it was, and it is Drampa who apparently loves playing with children. That is Rotom's description of it. Flashing to Team Rocket, we see that James wants to ride on its back. Jesse calls him out and says, you're not a kid, why would you want to do that? But Meowth goes, I've got a plan. And a very sinister looking, um, very sinister looking Meowth type of thing. So in the flashback, Drampa had taken them to an open field where there were tons and tons of Haban berries. Um, and the Drampa goes and, and hollers at them, yells at them again. But it turns out that this is Drampa's way of playing with them. A very interesting way to play with them. In real time, Pikachu and the other Pokemon apparently smell something and run off to a very open field with a bunch of Haban berries. And this is where Lana and Mallow seem to think that it's the same place. And Drampa comes out to greet them. Now Team Rocket jumps out and this is their plan that they had. They had a new customized theme song. These animators are taking way too long going over Team Rocket. I don't I don't know how long this series is planned to be, but it looks like it's going to take forever with how much time they're spending on little stuff like Team Rocket. Anyway, Team Rocket is pretending to be the Kid Rocket gang so they can play with Drampa. But Drampa's not having it. Drampa's just sitting there and like tries to avoid them by jumping over them, but they jump and pull him down. And Meowth is like, okay, this plan isn't working, but don't worry, this baby bottle is actually a rocket. And shoots one of their capturing little webs over Drampa. So Drampa's caught, and Ash is like, okay, I've been doing this for 20 years, Pikachu, let's go. And Drampa's like, nah, it, 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 it's okay. Drampa gets mad and shreds the thing himself and saves himself and blasts away Team Rocket, who are, of course, saved by Drampa, or excuse me, saved by Beware. They're not saved by Drampa, they're blasted off by Drampa, and they're saved by Beware. The episode ends with Drampa remembering Lana and Mallow. They all playing together, sharing a nice hug. Ash joins in. They all eat a berry with a very sour, a very bitter reaction. 
To which Grandpa's response was raising his eyebrows yet again, and that was the end of the episode. You know, when I started doing these anime reviews, it was right around the time that um, the first Ultra Wormhole was happening. So there was like something that I could take out of. I could be like, hey, I think that this is going to mean this in the future. There was none of that in this episode. It was just a nice, this is how Lana and Mallow became friends? Question mark. Anyway, that's it. We're not going to do a preview of the next episode because I'm probably about to roll straight into recording that if I'm going to break the fourth wall a bit. But anyway, if you checked out this episode again, please let me know what your favorite part was in the comments down below. And hit the, th uh, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed our review. We will see you whenever that next review comes out. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.